Praise the Lord, saints. God bless you. What a wonderful day it is. Hey, this is our segment about the lawlessness of man. The lawlessness of man. I want to get back to you about this series that we've been dealing with. Amen. But first of all, I'd like for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, Rodney Gutton. Hey, hit that subscribe button. Press that like button. Also hit that bell so you can get the notifications of this teaching, this series that we're talking about. Amen. So we're dealing with the lawlessness of man. And we are finding out something here about this man, this lawless man, amen. Because it's in our world, it's in our nation, it's in our communities, and it's in our home. Well, like, like we would say, it's just buck wild out there. Come on, somebody, let's just tell the truth. Let's just put it right where it's at. Because we're crying out, our communities are crying out concerning what the violence that are going on in our world with our children uh, uh, in our schools, with our police officers, with our law enforcement, we, we, we're hearing the cry because we got it in our government. This lawlessness is just going rapid around here and we're trying to find out what is the solution. What do we do? Do we take up arms? What do we do? No, 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 we don't do that. Our fight is not a flesh and blood. Uh, come on, somebody, but Paul has let us know, Jesus has let us know our fight is not a flesh and blood, but it's of the spirit of a true and living God. Because God has dealt with the lawless according to his righteousness. You have the way of lawlessness and you have the way of righteousness. So the question is, who you will serve? Choose this day who you are going to serve. Because listen, the believer needs to understand. Because the world does not understand what you understand, what you have come in contact with. You have been given a gift of righteousness. You were made righteous in the sight of God. And it's through the Holy Spirit that leads us and guides us from the way of lawlessness. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And he's still working on us. That we don't what? That we don't drift off. That we don't get persuaded uh, get uh, 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 persuaded by this spirit of lawlessness and get back into what we came out of, back to what we were bound to, back to what we were slaves to. So it is the spirit of God that God said he'll never leave us nor forsake us. Thank you, Lord. But let's get to the scriptures. I'm going to move real quickly with this. This is our foundation scripture. It is 1 John 3, chapter 3. Look at that verse number 4. This is what it says. Listen to this. This is very important. Everyone who practices sin also practices lawlessness. This is what the Bible says. Everyone who practices sin practices lawlessness. What is lawlessness? And sin is lawlessness. This is what lawlessness is. It says, ignorant, excuse me, ignoring God's law by action. This is what lawlessness is. Ignoring God's law by action or neglect or by tolerating wrongdoing. Mm. Being unrestrained by his commands and his will. That is the way of lawlessness. Hear me now. That is the way. We all have been there and done that. Some of us was raised in a, in a community. We were raised with our parents this way. Not knowing that this is the way of lawlessness to where it is what? Uh, uh, ignoring God's law by actions or tolerating wrongdoing. Some of us didn't even know this. that's the way we were living. But that's the way we were living outside of Christ. We were living that way in our communities, in our own little sections of, uh, you know, uh, whatever side of the track you were raised on. This is the way that they live. And some people still live this way, yeah? And they're proud about the way they live. But listen, listen. But our fight is not with the world. Hear me now. But we know that this lawlessness reigns from above. This is Satan and his and his tactics and and and, and the way he has what well, corrupted uh, uh, society. This is sin. This is he is the father of lawlessness. We know where it comes from. We know what the root of this thing is. But thanks be to God that He has shown us a way of righteousness that deals with the heart of man. That causes us to repent, to turn away from this type of living, this type of lifestyle. First, it starts on the inside. Because God loves me. God loves you. That he gave his life for us. He don't want to see us end up at the end results of this man, this nature. Matter of fact, we can go to Adam. Adam, Adam, Adam. He, what, he plunged us into all of this. We didn't ask for this. But we were born this way, a nature of lawlessness. 
not submitting to the will or the way of God. Oh, but thanks be to God. But this is what he says. You know that he appeared, talking about Jesus, in visible form as a man in order to take away sin, in order to take away this way of lawlessness. Because my nature was that way. But through the grace of God, Jesus appeared in human form, glory to God, to take it away. Because the Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Thank you, God, that he stepped up in our place and we saw our shame. We saw that we were guilty. We're not denying it. This is how we were, but God has rescued us. Listen, we're trying to find a solution to the hurting, uh, to the victim, to the per to the persecutor, and, and we're trying to find a solution in our communities. You know, uh, it's, it's in our government. Law is it's all over the place. It's rampant. What is the solution? It's Jesus. It's Jesus. The word of faith is in your mouth. That's the solution. And he goes to say, in order to take away sin, and in him there is absolute no sin for he has neither the sin nature Jesus nor has he committed sin or acts worthy of blame no one who abides in him listen no one who abides in him this is our foundation of scripture stay with me abides in him remains uh, united in fellowship with him deliberately knowingly and habitually practice sin so anyone that belongs to Christ knowing him does not practice Lawlessness. No one who habitually sins has seen him or know him. Listen, saints. No one who practices sin, lawlessness, knows God. So this is what we see. They don't know God. Because if you know God, you're not killing your neighbor. If you know God, you're not going to the mall and killing up a bunch of folks. If you know God, you're not poisoning people. If you know God, you're not out being a terrorist. Oh, help me somebody. If you know God, you're not living this way. You're not trying to hurt yourself and hurt others. If you know God, this is not the way of righteousness. We know that. Nobody had to tell us the way we were, in other words, we knew the way we were living. Nobody had to come and tell you what was wrong and what was, you know, we knew what was wrong, what was right. Even after we got saved. But the, but, but the question we, well, we were fighting with the, the, the inner man, we were fighting with the inner man in me. Somebody helped me with the enemy in me because I still have some desires that is the way of lawlessness. Even members today, believers today are still struggling within their members in the way of lawlessness. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm persuaded all the time to, to, to follow this way. That's why the Spirit of God has to be on the inside because he's working the love of God that's been poured out in our hearts, that's given us a desire. Pull away from this, this way of living. Pull away from the way of lawlessness. The Spirit works on my heart, my conscience, and my mind. That we can follow after God. God has given us a gift of righteousness that will rescue all of us. He says righteousness for everyone who will believe. That he is the way. He is the truth. And he is the life. That saves us from this. This actions. These ways because of our nature. Amen. Glory to God. God bless you. I want to read one more scripture to you that I, I believe that there's a contrast between lawlessness and righteousness. So what we see in our own homes, what we see in our own communities, they don't know God. The only God they might know is you. And the question is, are we walking godly? Are we living godly lives? And if we're going to minister to the world, Listen, the message is reconciliation. The message is not to point fingers and judge. Jesus said, I didn't come to judge the world, but to save the world. Listen, the law is enforced. It is going to do its job. Whether you know God or whether you don't, 
the law is going to be enforced. God put it there. I see some scriptures today that will blow your mind how God dealt with the lawless in the Old Covenant, in the Old Testament. If God was dealing with the lawless and uh, uh, with the Jews, if he was dealing with uh, that way today, some of us wouldn't even be alive today. But through his mercy, through his grace, this is how he's dealing with me and you. But listen to this. Romans 5 and 17, real quickly. For the sin of this one man, Adam, caused death to rule over many. This sin caused death to rule over many. This lawless act caused death to rule over many. Slave to it. We're slave to it. God knows it. Your, your way of escape is through Christ. Our way of escape is through Christ. See, because this is something we have to die to. You don't read a book to escape lawlessness. You don't go to a program to escape lawlessness. Listen to me. A program, one, two step, three step, does not allow you to escape from lawlessness. It's your nature, baby. And you got to die to it. And the only way we can die to it is through Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. But listen, but even greater is God's wonderful grace. For the sin of this one man, Adam, causes death to rule over many. But even greater is God's wonderful grace and his gift of righteousness. That's what I needed. I needed the gift of righteousness before I was saved and after I was saved. Because I needed on my conscience for the guilt and the shame. I need to know that I'm right with God. And knowing that I'm right with God, allow the Holy Spirit to well, continue doing a work on my, the inside of my heart. But I won't be persuaded by the hurt, by the pain, by the ignorance of men. That I won't be persuaded to get back and live a life that will cause harm and danger to myself or my loved one. I know sometimes we get in these places and we want revenge. We want to do something. We want to act on some things. But listen, listen, listen. Remember, whatever you do, there's a reaction. And you cause others to follow after you. You are leading somebody somewhere by the way you live. Listen, it's by the way you live. People are watching you. Youngsters are watching you. Listen, you do not want to lead nobody to a ditch, do you? You do not want to lead nobody to death, do you? Come on. So he says here, righteousness for all who receive it will live triumph over sin in death through this one man, Jesus Christ. Not only is this for the by and by, but this is for right now. Your life as a believer is a witness that you've been free from this lifestyle. And don't give me that OG stuff. Anybody being no OG? No, no, listen, listen, listen. This is for the young and the old. That this gift of righteousness, this love of God, this way of righteousness, brother, I wouldn't change it, change it for nothing in the world. Not that I'm perfect. Not that we are perfect. But, but that we have submitted to understand light and darkness. Peace and love, goodness, compassion. God is leading us in the way of righteousness. So I can love my neighbor as I love myself. Glory to God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Rocky Gumpy. Hit the like. Push the bell for notifications and we'll get back to you on this. Choose this day who you're going to serve.